first whiskey video in a while, and we got Big Al here. Yo. And we're going to do it blind. <laughs> Join our OnlyFans. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, folks. Obviously, just kidding. Nobody's doing anything um, vulgar on here. We are talking about whiskey today, and it's a fun one because it's a company that reached out and wanted to know if we wanted to partner up on a video. Full disclosure, this is a sponsored video. Don't want there to be any behind the scenes hidden crap. I'm always very uh, upfront with you guys about everything. This is sponsored by the good folks at Blind Barrel. They reached out to see if I wanted to partner up on a video and after I heard what their product was about, I was happy to oblige. Fits right in. Fits right in. It's one of me and Allison's favorite things to do when it comes to whiskey, and that's doing blind tastings, right? Blind tastings are a ton of fun because it takes out all the preconceived bullshit. Right. I don't know how many times I've done a blind tasting on a whiskey, had a preconceived notion that, the you know, I knew what the lineup was and this was going to be, and it did not land. Or you know that like, yeah, I don't usually ever like that brand. And it ends and up, then you end up ranking it pretty high. Yeah. There's always, at every blind, there's always a surprise. Yeah. All the branding, all the marketing that's been shoved in your face, all the rage about this is the best whiskey that you've heard from, you know, reviewers and it's got to be awesome. It takes out all that stuff and it strips it down to what your mouth is tasting. Especially these days with everything being hyped up the way that it is. Especially this one too, because it's like all a surprise. Yeah, this you is totally. know what you're tasting. No, it's just to kind of give you a little bit of their, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Their mission? Their mission statement, kind of what they're about. They're big into the blind tastings being discovery and educational and totally removing any biases that you might have due to marketing and branding and stuff. So that's kind of one of their big things. It's a quarterly thing. They send out a box quarterly. It's $200 for the year or $59 a quarter. And whenever you sign up, the first box ships immediately. Deliveries ship mid-September, December, March. That's the schedule, uh, you know, go every three months from there. Once a quarter, you spend about the cost of uh, a bottle of whiskey, or if you do it yearly, it's even a little less than that. And you get a cool tasting experience. Their model gives subscribers unique access to try hard to find craft distilleries who are making innovative and delicious products. This is the first time we're doing this, by the way. So this is kind of a, a dry run. You guys are gonna see our first impressions on this, which is why I'm reading off this. I didn't want this to be rehearsed. I wanted this to be like, Raw. Raw. Raw and for real. Raw, real for the first time. And look at this like a good way to explore distilleries that you might not see locally. Aren't like your bottles that you'll just go in and find. Right. With it being uh, a big thing of working with hard to find craft distilleries, I'm assuming they're not going to be a lot of like Old Foresters, Woodford Reserve, stuff like that that yeah. you could find in any liquor store. They're this, new and different. Right. These are new yeah. and different and kind of give you a, a chance to open your palate yeah. and try new things that you normally wouldn't. So if you're a whiskey nerd, this should be right yep. up your alley. Their goal is to create disruption in the spirits industry, traditional distribution by showcasing and uplifting the best in small American distilleries. In the end, we're an American small business supporting other American small businesses. If you do like them, they'll have them for sale on the website. So if you okay, find that one- That was my next question. Yeah, yeah, so that would really suck. If it's like, yeah, this is like, awesome. So how do you get them if you find a bottle you really like? <laughs> yeah, I really love it. Too bad I'll never fucking get yeah. it. No, no. Our subscribers have access to purchase these bottles at the same price and often less as if you were at the actual distillery. And many of our lineups include our rare barrel picks. Pretty cool yeah. idea behind it. And how it works is they send you this thing quarterly. They send you this nice box, which I have to say the packaging is really well done. Yeah. You get a little note in here that kind of tells you some vague stuff about the whiskeys that are in here, not to give anything away. You've got a nice flavor wheel, which is pretty cool. And then you've got four whiskey bottles, little taster bottles, very nicely packaged. It's got a magnetic closure. It's a very well done presentation. Okay. Makes it makes it feel fancy. These are labeled. Obviously, there's their names and stuff. I don't know. It's just labeled A, B, C, D. So you have no idea what's in here. We labeled our cups A, B, C, D, so we can kind of keep track of what's going on. And then at the at the end, once you're done, there's a QR code right here. You scan this QR code, it'll take you to their website where it will reveal what is in what bottle. So there is no way you can know what's in what. You don't have to like try to be sneaky and pour it and mix them up to confuse yourself or anything. This is as blind as blind can be. You've just got four bottles labeled A through D. And you taste them, see what you like, and then you, at the end you do your QR code, which I think is pretty fun. Yeah. I dig it. I dig it. Might as well just crack in here. 
bottles are nice. The bottles almost kind of remind me of like little bottles of Woodford, like shape wise. And that kind of like a bottle of Woodford. I don't know how much is in here, but it looks like there is plenty to, uh, you could probably do this and have enough to do a tasting. I would say probably three people, maybe four, four would be pushing. Two, you can definitely do very, very easily. I would say there's probably enough in here where you could do three or four if you went a little lighter on the pours. Ooh, that's a dark boy right there. <laughs> I can tell you right now, C came out there looking, came out the, out the frame looking. C came out there looking noticeably darker than the other ones. I'm actually going to spin these around All right. so we can see the numbers that way. You guys can see what's what. You going to start with A? Start this way? I know you like to start left or right. It's ah. like the way you read. Why would you go backwards? Well, but it's not the way they read. It's backwards to them. Well, To them, this is left or right. So you're you're making the, the people look backwards. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Maybe they didn't put red runts on here. No red runt? No. Then you guys, blind barrels, you have to redo your flavor wheel to include red runts. <laughs> red runts is is definitely a flavor that I get for sure in whiskey. Sherry pour. Yeah. So in the cigar Bible, I have a wheel that I did. The cigar and whiskey Bible. I have a wheel that is very similar to this. But this is handy to have out, uh, especially if you're new to drinking whiskey. You kind of put it out while you're doing your tasting. And if you're having a hard time nailing down a flavor you're like man what is that you come across here and like you go hmm that's a woody flavor but what kind of wood and if you go over it's cigar box uh, what did i say resinous oak wood chestnut wood it's got different kinds of wood so it helps you kind of narrow down your focus citrus exotic dry. what the hell does that say pipe fruit pip fruit pip fruit pip fruit what the hell's a pip fruit apple pear and quince what the hell's a quince? <laughs> I don't know. What's a pip, a pip fruit and a quince? <laughs> Are we in a different country right now? What the hell's going on? Can I have a quince, please? A pip fruit, please. May I have a pip fruit? May I have a pip fruit? Would you like some quince? Would you like a quince? Why are we going like <laughs> fucking with the British folks? Like, <laughs> I don't know what. Because it just seems like very proper. Quince does sound it like a, it, sound, it sounds like a British term. Yeah. Quit, quit it. Well, quidditch is in Harry Potter. Never mind. All this, right, let's, let's let's drink some damn whiskey. Let me let me give him a sniff. Okay. Those, not all too dissimilar. That one's very different. See, I thought the first two smelled very different. That one is brown sugar happiness. These smell very different. I thought these smelled the same. I don't think they smell the same. I don't think they're crazy different. Mm. This tastes like smells like apples and cinnamon. This smells like a basement. Don't you smell the basement? Like kind of like a musty. You don't smell that? Kind of a musty, dusty kind of situation. That's brown fruit and wood. Brown fruit. Br that's <laughs> that's br old ass. Fruit. That's old ass brown fruit. No, that's a like a dark brown sugar in like a wood. Brown fruit, brown pip fruit with a quince. There's a little bit of a mustiness in that one too, but this one straight reminds me a little bit of a basement for some reason. This one is definitely smells fruity. All right, well let's taste some shit. Cheers. Right out in the front, sweet. But then there's something else. What is that? What is that? It's sweet, but then there's a, um, let me use my thing. Floral? It is a florally. Sweet with like a floral undertone. Like yeah. I would imagine like a honeysuckle or something like that. And that's probably not going to be at all what the flavor notes say when we uh, break this down. Maybe a little lavender? I'm definitely getting like a little little bit of a floral. So, but it's floral with like the, it's like a little bit of a bite. Maybe it's orange blossom. Maybe it's a quince. Maybe we just found out what quince Maybe we just found out what we just discovered what a quince was. We're learning shit already. Maybe it is a little citrus in there. Yeah. Maybe it's a little bit of sweet, then it goes a little floral citrusy, and there's a little bit of like oak bitterness influence at the end. Sample number two. You're so aggressive with your cheersing. Why are you always so fucking? She's like, I hold my glass up. You're like, clang. Like you're trying to fucking, Jesus Christ. I don't know my own strength. That's Ooh. interesting. It's got a little bit of that mustiness I was I smelled. It's like a musty. Yes. You don't look like you like that one. It hit me a little weird. I like it, but this one is, definitely is not like as sweet. This one to me is more leather, basement, earthy, wood, kind yeah. of those it's kind of vibes. Very like, um, leather. This could potentially be good with a cigar. Leather is what I taste. Leather? This one is 
very different than this one. Very. This is very. sweeter, floral. This one had more like earthy, darker notes, wood, leather, that yeah. kind of thing. I think it'd be good with the cigar though. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. This probably is not my favorite. Well, I didn't figure that would be your cup of tea, but I actually kind of like it. Yeah, it's pretty nice with the cigar. It actually gets sweeter when you when you smoke with a cigar or drink with a cigar. So you have your your flavor profiles that you tend to buy because they're the ones you tend to enjoy. So you might miss out on something like this because you, if you heard reviews of something, you you wouldn't tend to go, oh, that sounds like my jam. I'm going to go to the liquor store and try to find that. This kind of yeah, gives you... exposes you to some different exposes things that you, you wouldn't some, right. naturally buy. Ex exactly. Like so from a, a newer whiskey drinker perspective, because you're still relatively new, you've progressed a long way, but... What do you think about this layout with them being totally blind? Oh, I love it. Having your little... I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's fun. And this is something that you said you want to use before a lot. You're like, man, I wish I had like a little flavor wheel and then half the time you don't feel like going over and getting the one out of the Bible. Yeah. This with the box, you just put it on top of the box and while you're sitting here. Mm -hmm. This would be fun for like a date night. If you want to get your wife it's into fun whiskey. for a date night or it's fun if you had like... Some like buddy. if we had Marianne and Lance over, yeah. this would be fun to sit down and do with them. Like just one other couple, because yeah. it's enough for four people. Easy. You, you'd have to go light on the pores, but you you'd could have to definitely go light. But you could do, you know. Yeah, I dig it. No, I, I like I think it a it's lot. A, I think it's a cool thing. Ready? Yeah. Okay, He Man. Just wait, wait, wait. There. <laughs> Ding. Ding. That one has a little sweet, not sweet, not overly like super sugary sweet. There's a little bit of a vegetal note in there, I feel like. Yes. A little Which bit. Kind of piece, I'm like, what is that? I um, feel like there's a little bit of like. Soil. Dirt. Yeah. A little, for soil. little forest soil, vegetal kind of thing. Yeah. But with. It's like peach. Peach. On the end. Peach. She's getting peach. I'm getting. I'm really trying on the flavors. No, you're doing good. And, and here's the thing. But I have to be actively looking at these. The thing that's sticking with me on this is like, I can't pick out the 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 sweetness i want to say like a honey or a brown sugar like a general darker sweetness there is definitely some oak influence in there is there's this vegetal note yeah that i got that, that a lot of on the front I, it's hanging in there for me like i'm still on the it's like a little, i like it though no it's good you would think oh it's soil that's well it's gross you know it's it's funny yeah, when, i like it it's funny when i talk about cigars a lot i'll be talking about like or when they smell it's like this smells like manure and everybody's like why would you smoke that cigar if it smells like but it does still smell good but it, but it, it, strangely enough though it it's still good scotches a lot of the scotches you know you get notes like tar and rubber tire and medicinal and smoky some of the joking notes that people have said is like a uh, mermaid's bath walk and you think that sounds but it, they're, yeah it's delicious like, sounds it's, gross, it's good that's a very interesting whiskey yeah i'm i'd be curious to see what that is and what's going on there because i don't yeah. know that i've ever had a whiskey that tastes like no that. yeah all right come on shira take it easy there we go that's weird because it's sweet and a little dry at the same time i think that's my favorite there's like a an interesting juxtaposition going on there of like it feels a little astringent and drying on the palate, almost like a dry wine. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it makes my mouth water and it's sweet. It's good. No, it is good. I like that one. That one also may be my favorite. I enjoy that one. <laughs> I like, yeah, I like that one a lot. Yeah. There's a lot going on. Some wooden stuff that's in and there. Woodsy, that's, yeah. it's, it's balancing that out. So it's not spicy. like, it's not overly woody. It's not overly spicy. It's not overly sweet. It's kind of right in the middle of home plate on yeah. a lot of these. There's, Anytime you got one, you got something on the other side kind of balancing it out. You want to put them in order? I know what order I, I have in my head right now. I'm going to go back through. Yeah. Probably going to speed this up so you guys don't have to watch yeah. nine hours of us doing tasting. <laughs> Were you locked in? Yeah. Locked in. So what was your order? My order was, let me turn these around so I can see them. My order was first place was D, second place was B, third place was C, last place was A. D, A, C, B. Okay, so we got first and third place the same, and we flip flopped second. But the thing is, I liked this the best the first time through, and this the least the first time through. I mean, shit changes. So I just confused myself, but hey, that's the way it is. You want, are you curious to see what they are? Yeah. Let's find out. Do is you get your camera up, hold it on the little dude, QR code. Bob's your uncle. March release. There's a little video here you can watch. 
Sample D was our first place. So see, it's got like little envelopes okay. to open. Sample D was our first place. So we'll do that first. All Sample right. D. Oh, wow. It's a Canadian whiskey. Oh, cool. D is Cat's Eye Distillery in Ottawa. I think that's Ottawa. Ben ben Benedorf, Ottawa. And it is Obtanium Canadian whiskey. Fun fact, this is the oldest whiskey that has ever been in our lineup and may stay that way. It's also our first hazmat. This is 151 is proof. <laughs> wow, I would never have thought that. And it's not the dark one like we thought. No, either. not the dark one at all. This is a perfect example. Okay. Yeah. I normally You would never have bought it, probably. Never buy a Canadian whiskey because while I know there are good Canadian whiskeys out there, some of the people I know in Canada joke around and say, yeah, the reason you don't think there's any good ones is because we keep all the good ones in Canada and we send all the bullshit down to the U.S. <laughs> I, in general, do not like very... I, I've rarely, if ever, had a Canadian whiskey that I liked. In this, I put it number one. I think it's delicious. So what are the notes? 100% corn, 151 proof, 26 years old. Wow. Holy shit. Aroma, creme brulee, flamed orange peel, cinnamon toast, fruity pebbles. Fruity pebbles, hold on. I definitely get the creme brulee. Cinnamon, cinnamon, yes. I don't get no fruity pebbles. To my nose, what I'm getting is the creme brulee, the flamed orange, the cinnamon toast. I can get all that. Fruity pebbles, I don't get. Tasting notes, hot cinnamon candy, raw hazelnut, caramelized sugar, nutty walnut brittle. I'm trying to remember back to what I said I tasted on that. That is a damn good whiskey. We both ranked that number one. And I put that in first place right away. Yeah. That's that's a good whiskey. Yeah. Well, as soon as I tasted it, I, I put it to first. Yeah. There's a whole bunch more information they yeah. have on the whiskey, so you can dig down. There's a whole story behind it. Cool stuff. So if you're a whiskey nerd, you'll love this shit. My last place, Allison's second place, A, is Devil's Creek Distillery, Mammoth Lakes, California. It is their single barrel California straight bourbon whiskey. 102 proof, four, a, four years of age. It's a 68 corn, 16 rye, 16 malted barley. Grapefruit peel, sweet sparkling water effervescence, yeast, lavender. Lavender, that's what, didn't you say it on that one? Maybe it was, was that? Oh, that was A, yeah, that was the first one. I said, and, and you said it was floral. And I said orange peel and it says orange oil. Yeah, orange oil, so <laughs> we, we nailed it. go. Fucking nailed it. Look, all of these were good. There wasn't any of these that I was like, Ugh. but that was my, it was my least favorite, obviously. Yeah. I put it in last. You really enjoyed it. You put it second. Rich in vegetal floral, uh, floral, see the floral, vanilla, caramelized sugar, lavender, latte, dried apricot, candy, apple, cherry. But it's, it's just, it's different. It is different. It, yeah. So that was my last place, your second place. Yeah. B was my second place, Allison's last place, is Frey Ranch Distillery, Fallon, Nevada. Single barrel straight bourbon whiskey, 122 proof, four years, seven months, 66% dit corn, 10% winter wheat, 11 winter rye, 12% two row barley. Fun fact, we visited the ranch ourselves and hung with Colby and Ashley Frey for a whole day. Every, uh, every barrel we tasted was exquisite, Barrel we picked was also an all-time favorite of the distiller's wife, a very special barrel pick indeed. So me and the wife, me and the distiller's wife had a pretty similar taste because that was my number two. Tasting notes is candied orange, earth and musty in a good way. Treacle, forest floor, roasted tropical fruits, papaya, sweetness punches through candy corn. I, I can smell the green apple. I can get a little bit of the, the, the earthy situation it in that one. earthy, mushroomy, that's probably why I put it a lot. It's good. It's tasty. D, A. We, we need to do C. We need to do C. Is that the only one we haven't that done? That was our third place. C. C was third for both of us. This is Southern Distilling, Statesville, North Carolina. Southern Star Paragon Single Barrel Weeded Straight Bourbon Whiskey. 116 proof, 58 ABV, six years old, 70% corn, 16% wheat, 14% malted barley. Fun fact, this barrel pick is a sister barrel of a barrel that won a 2022 New York State Spirit Competition. It also the darkest whiskey we've ever seen yeah. and one of our favorite single barrels of all time. Yeah, dude, it, I mean, noticeably dark. When we poured it, I, that was a, I was like, man, this is some dark whiskey. It, yeah. it reminded me of like... Um, some of the Garrison Brothers stuff from Texas that I've had that's like really dark, dark, dark. Vibrant and dark amber. Aroma notes, superb, rich, sweet, and woody with a hint of white pepper. Dusty, Dusty bookshelf. Book Dusty that's bookshelf. That's what it is. Walnut shells and cherry pie. Tasting notes, powerful, spicy Dutch pie topping. Cherry sweet, mint, no vanilla bean. Insanely rich texture. Yeah, I don't, I get some soil. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I got some, 
I got some funk in I, that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I was, A, pretty surprised how close we got on some of the flavor notes. Yeah. Super happy that I found a Canadian whiskey that I like. <laughs> yeah. Because I'll, I, my buddy Pete's from Canada. I like a lot of the folks from Canada. And anytime they ask me, what's your favorite Canadian whiskey? I'm always like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now I found the cat's yeah. eye. That stuff is that was fun. That's delicious. If you're, if you're into whiskey and you like nerding out and you like trying to pull out flavor notes and all the stuff, or if you're trying to get a, fr a good friend of yours or your wife or your significant other, whatever in to whiskey, I yeah. think this is a fun thing for you to sit down once a quarter, talk about it, figure out what flavor notes, rank them, see which ones yeah. come up. And then also potentially find some really cool whiskeys that you probably wouldn't otherwise have ever found. Yeah. So, and all for the price of about a, yeah. bottle, about a bottle of whiskey. So it's worth it. That's a, that's a fun experience. I think it's worth it. Or if you pay for it up front for the year, it's $200 a year. That ends up being even better. That's way That'd less. That'd be a great gift for someone too. Yeah. For the, they have for the gift, year. They have gift certificates and stuff available Give too. Give them the so. year of, of tastings or whatever for someone who maybe has yeah. A collection like this that you don't know what bottle to get them. I didn't even think about that. This would that. be perfect. I didn't even think about that. That would be a great, that needs to go on like my my winter gift guide for Christmas this year. Yeah. If if you have a whiskey person, because I always say buying somebody a bottle of whiskey is dicey. Like I don't ever know what to get him unless, unless I've heard him say. You're right. Unless you know they're looking for a particular bottle and you happen to find it, it's always dicey buying a whiskey person whiskey because yeah. do they have it? Do they want it? You know, whatever. Yeah. This would be a fun kind of thing, and it's the gift that keeps on giving. There you go. I'll put links down below if you guys want to check these guys out. I'm not sure if we have any kind of discount code or anything with them, but if we do, it'll all be linked down below. Definitely, if you're a whiskey guy or gal, go check this out. I think it's pretty damn cool, and you would enjoy it. Yeah. Before we check out for the day, though, we have to, as always, do our drawing for last week's giveaway, and then we'll go over what we're going to give away in this video. Last video, we did a giveaway on the trucker hats, the new trucker hats. Links down below if you're interested, by the way. They are pretty sweet if I don't say so. Random comment picker and go. And this week's winner is Nick Hubert. Nick says, I'm definitely adding this to my to-do list. It's a mile long, but what's one more project? Dude, that is my uh, <laughs> motto. Okay, that's why I always have 50,000 projects going on because I have ADD and I'm always bouncing around to everything. So, yes. Well, Nick, congratulations, my brother. Thank you for uh, watching the video. Thank you for subscribing and liking and commenting and all those things. <laughs> we will be reaching out to you down below in the comments asking you to send us an email so we can get your mailing info. All right, new giveaway. But before we do our weekly asshole scammer warning, we do these giveaway drawings live in the video. If you don't hear me say your name, and somebody down below is giving you some shit that you want, some stuff, it's a scam. Don't fall for it. We announce winners in the videos. All right, so for next week, let's do, what are we gonna give away? Let's give away, uh, I'll give away a pair of the new cigar scissors. Those are the last two drops we did was the hat and the scissors. So let's do a, a giveaway on a pair of the new Damascus cigar scissors. Super sweet, S35 EN steel, brass Damascus, brass copper Damascus handles. They're very bougie. Very bougie, very Gucci. <laughs> Rules are as always, you have to be a subscriber to both channels, both this channel and the After Hours channel, uh, which is where we do our weekly live streams. Go check that out. And there's gonna be some pew pew content coming on that channel before too, too long. You have to like the video, so smash that like button. And then down below, put hashtag Gucci scissors, because that'll help me remember. Hashtag do it blind. Because you should do every all blind. I think it's fun. <laughs> Turn the lights off occasionally. I'm just saying. And as always, we will draw that winner live in our next upload. Well, that wraps this one up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, big thank you to the guys at Blind Barrels for supporting the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not subscribed, please, because you're doing so. We're like, fucking. <laughs> If you like to give me that, if you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. Hope everyone is having a fantastic week. And we'll see you in the next video. You can never go wrong with drinking whiskey. I've never been around when drinking whiskey was a bad time. Never with drinking whiskey is a bad time. And it's, a, it's fun. A good way to get your wife into whiskey. Hit <laughs> him.